Good evening, everybody. It is Friday, uh, April 1st, 2022 at 6 p.m. And it's time for gratitudes and prayer list prayers. Alexa, cancel. I'm grateful that I got my grocery shopping done today. Well, not all of it. I have to go to Smart and Final to get some um, some eggs. Some milk and some uh, some um, juice. And some um, yogurt. So that's no big deal. that I got that. I'm grateful that I can get up at any hour, you know, because being sick with this stuff that I've had, you know, I like right now, like I'm tired, right? After I finish prayer that I can, I can go to sleep and wake up at 11 p.m. and brush my teeth, do a little bit, go back to bed, you know, stay up till like two, go back to bed, get back up, do a little bit, go back to bed, get, you know what I mean? Like whatever schedule I need to do, I can do it. So my, I don't have to think in terms of like, okay, you go to bed at night and you wake up during the day, you know what I mean? Like, cause I, whenever I have the energy for something, I can get up and do it. And I, I thank God for that. Thank you. Thank God for maintaining the integrity of the form for me. Grateful for that. Thank God for water, which is what I call vodka. That sounded very much like a Jim Gaffigan joke, almost. Thank God for the chicken that I made last night. I made, uh, I had chicken and shrimp, but I made it like, um, I made it my own recipe. And it wasn't the best recipe. It was a seasoning combination that, you know, could have been better. I tried it, what the hell, you know? But, it came out all right. It could have been better, but I ate all my dinner, and I'm gonna eat it again tonight. I got, I have, you know, leftover chicken breast. So I'm gonna eat. So grateful for that. I had a nice time making it. I'm 
grateful that the summer's coming. I'm always grateful that the winter's coming too. I like all, I like all the seasons. grateful for a hot shower, which I haven't taken a day. I'm going to take probably when I get back from Smart and Final. And that'll feel good. Grateful for light, cold outside, and these electric lights here. We pray for our leaders in government, our President Joe Biden. Vice President Kamala Harris and all members of the United States Congress. You've heard that this is closed body language before, by the way. Contextually, that's true, I guess. But right now, it's bullshit. You know why I have my arms cold for, for, folded? Because I'm a little bit cold. Not cold enough to put a robe on, but this is just kind of warming me up. And that's why it is. All right? In California, we pray for our governor, Gavin Newsom, and his family. We pray for all police, fire, and emergency personnel in San Mateo County. as well as the Human Services Agency and the Department of Housing, and for all county workers not specifically named. In South San Francisco, we pray for our Mayor Mark and for all members of the South San Francisco City Council. In San Francisco, we pray for Mayor London Breed and for all members of the San Francisco Board of Supervisors. We pray for all those suffering through homelessness at the present time, for all victims of COVID-19 and COVID-19 long hauler syndrome. 
as well as for abode services and life moves, both of which help homeless people find, get into, and stay in housing. And for clergy suffering with addiction and chemical dependency. Excuse me. We pray for all ministries inside and outside of the church, for all clergy and religious and lay leaders alike. Especially our Holy Father, Pope Francis, Pope Benedict, Bishop Mark Hanley Andrus, Archbishop Salvatore Cordeleone, St. Gregory's Abbey, Three Rivers, Michigan, Hospitality House in San Bruno. See Episcopal Church in South San Francisco and San Bruno, the Diocese of California, the Archdiocese of San Francisco, Reverend Patrick Driscoll, St. Veronica's Catholic Church in South San Francisco, the Reverend Deborah Hawkins, Bishop Louis Jeleno, St. Bruno's Catholic Church in San Bruno, and the Reverend David Grant Smith, the new vicar of See Episcopal Church. I pray for all members of my family, my father Alex and my mother Cheryl, as well as Kara Masick, Erwin Rossmeyer, Joshua Jesse, Ben and Max, my brothers, Mark Jesse and Diane Darling, Bob Ottaviano, Anna and Fiatta Crumby, Jocelyn Gerard, Donna Brown and Diane Carlson. for a moment. hear it. As well as praying for these members of my extended human family, I'm about to name here, beginning with Junior Irwin, Stuart Packman, Eric Mosness, Keegan Forbes, Michael Nold, Colter and Rhiannon, Richard Simmons, Jim White, Andrew Marmelstein, Dave Maloney, not Steens, Steen, Keith Watley, Jimmy Harder,
Michael Zorns, Tony Vucetic, Aaron Rodgers, Ruben Padilla, Travis Carpenter, Kurt Berry, Larry Burdett, Janine and Mike Jones, TJ Alastomsky, Drunk Phil, June, Ann and Sam, Lou and Gina, Peter Steeler, Daniel Hudson, Clifton Barrett, Raul and Barbara Laborde, Mike Smith, Margie Birkener family, Kyle Andrew Schofield, Laura and Lydia, Jason Hayes, Jack and Raman and their family, Gino and his family, Charles Ratcliffe, Chris Reinhardt, Dustin Keast, Norma Leakey, Matthew Russian, Tyler Davis, Daniel Fonseca, Michael and Corey, Ryan, Dean Varchetto, Pat Ford, Tina, Keith, Alexander, Matthew Mustashkin, Kevin Johansson, the Republicano family. Tyler Jordan Lowe, Tyler Smith, Charles and Kim Plyler and their family, Anita, David, Michael and his mother, Al, Cheeseburger, Kenny, Kendrick, Dylan, Charlene Myers, Jeffrey Marmelstein, Steve Buiza, the Pacific Family Medicine Clinic staff. Beth Lewis, Ken McCune, Bob and Alice Katz, Jen and Jesse, Steve Menini, Larry Lawton, Gabby Giffords, Jeff Henkel, Mark Zuckerberg and his family, John, Bill O'Reilly, Christopher Henning, Scott Akers, Debbie, George Jetson, Lil' Kim, Gustavo Caldas, John Shuck, Greg Flowers, Rick Rivero, Andy Han, Stephen and Bernadette Connolly, the people of the people of Ukraine, Skeeter and Russell. And we pray for all those that have passed on from this life, inside and outside the faith and fear of the Lord. Especially the repose, especially the holy souls in purgatory and the church triumphant. As well as the repose of the souls of Howard Connolly, Christine Baker, the Reverend and Mrs. Fred and Cheryl Merrick, Nick Lee, Mickey McGee, Keith Lloyd, James, Dustin Rasmussen, John Judicki. Anita Rossmeyer, Phil B. Martino, Father Benedict Reed, Winfred and Marianne Johnson, Demetrius Fleming Davis, John Gotti, my grandparents on both sides, Jay Darling, Tyler White, Ron Popeil, Priscilla, Edison, Sean Bowman, Bob Dole, Betty White, Bob Saget, Harry Reed, Adolfo Caldas, Bill Brown, the Mariposa family, Lori Ram, and Robert E. Phelan. Let me tell you who Mr. Phelan was. You can already probably guess, huh? Mr. Phelan was my sixth grade home uh, homeroom teacher. And he also taught history and English. He was also an English teacher. He was an English major, actually, in college. And, uh, which he used to point out to us all the time. But Mr. Phelan, one of the, the funniest things about Mr. Phelan is he had a temper, like you would not believe, like he, uh, and a voice on him, because he smoked some cigarettes, you know? And he, you, he, he would just thunder. <laughs> you know, it looks like I remember when I was a kid, you know, like when he, when I was in fifth grade, right down below, because his classroom was on the, on the end, and I was right down below a little bit up here. So you could hear him sometimes, like, you know, as you were going through the hallways, or sometimes I think you maybe even in some classrooms, I think you could hear him even in other classrooms, you know, and, uh, 
Anyway, so I, I, I think I was kind of scared, actually, to get him as a teacher when I finally did. And uh, I'm glad I did, because you know what? I would tell you right now, though, we, uh, he liked to bowl, and I was a bowler at the time, too. So he, he used to host intramural bowling after school. And uh, so, so we got to go with that. And this is during the time where I wanted to become a teacher. You know, I was always a little, little bit of a teacher's pet somewhat. And, uh, you know, but I, I, I wouldn't say I was a teacher's pet in his class. But, um, but I admired him, though. You know what I mean? I kind of, like, looked up. He was one of, the, like, the people that, like, I looked up to, like, as an adult. Kind of, like, kind of saw myself, you know emulating a little bit or something like that. And, and I'll tell you right now, when my phone screws up, I do emulate Mr. Phelan quite a bit, to tell you the truth. I mean, so, um, but, uh, you know, and he was Irish, you know, like a lot of people in Rhode Island where I'm from. And so he was really big on St. Patrick's Day and stuff like that. And, um, And one time I started a little business because this is kind of kind of the time when I started to kind of get into like doing stuff I shouldn't do exactly a little bit. And I started this little business of selling candy in school, and he busted me on that. And uh, we also stole cigarettes from the store too. We weren't selling cigarettes in the store. I don't think that we did that until later. I, I don't know if we did that at all, actually. I'm not sure. But we did steal cigarettes, cartons of cigarettes in the store because they were left, not because, but, you know, but they because they were left right out back then. You go right into Kmart and just, you know, walk up to the cigarettes and just... <laughs> cigarettes were cheap, a lot cheaper back then, though, too. When I was in high school, you could get cigarettes out of the machine for like two seventy five, and they were more expensive there. So anyway, though, when I was homeless, I like to read up on people and stuff like that. And when I was homeless, and I lived in the car, which I was lucky because it was like a home in there. You know, I had the hair dryer for heat. And I had a, I could plug it in. So even during the winter time, it was, you know, it, was, it could get cozy in there. And I used to sit there just like I did, just like I do here. And get on the internet and just read about people. And, read, and, and one of the things I looked him up and I found his obituary. He passed away some years ago. And uh, so, yeah, so now he's on, on the prayers. Bless you, Mr. Phelan. Thank you for the, the years of, those good years of growing up. In, in, in middle school, those were good years living with my grandparents and good years in the school. I had met Mr. Johnson, my music teacher, a year before in the fifth grade. And so we remember you today. O oh Lord our God, accept the fervent prayers of your people. In the multitude of your mercies, look with compassion upon us and all who turn to you for help. For you are gracious, a lover of souls. And to you we give glory, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, now and forever. Amen. All right. I'm going to run to the grocery store over here, Smart and Fine. I'll get those last few items that I need. And I'm going to hope that, uh, that I cooked dinner tonight. I have the energy. I'm going to have to probably have a cup of coffee when I come back home. We'll see what the Lord directs. The other night, I woke up and I was tired. And I didn't think I was going to have enough energy. And the Lord said to me, you'll be surprised what we get done tonight. And he, and he gave me enough energy to wash all the dishes and everything. And I was really surprised. Really. Because I did not feel like I was going to be able to do that. And he said that to me. Pretty amazing. Anyway. All right, everyone, remember to brush your teeth, to floss, and to say your prayers, and I'll see you in the next video. I love you all, and peace.